And I'm uh, delighted to have this opportunity uh, to give this talk uh, to such a large audience uh, and in celebration of Professor Yang's uh, birthday. And of course, Professor Yang is my hero uh, as much as he is yours. So uh, the topic I'm going to talk about uh, is the Higgs boson and Yang Mills theory. And I style it as a tribute to Professor Xian Yang on the occasion of his 90th birthday. You must have heard about the Bo Higgs boson uh, and have read about it in the popular press. What I hope to do today is to go into it at li in a little bit more depth uh, than what you might otherwise read, have read uh, in the newspapers, uh, because otherwise, what's the point? So first of all, uh, by way of introduction, the first reason we want to talk about the Higgs boson uh, today is because it is in the news. Uh, you must have read uh, in the newspapers uh, headlines such as these, and for most of us, we probably didn't go much beyond the headlines. Uh, this is all in the last few months, uh, for example, like this. And the formal uh, announcement of the exciting experimental result, though it's slightly tentative, uh, was only a couple of months ago at the 36th International Conference on High Energy Physics in July, held in Melbourne. Uh, that was when uh, the, the news really broke. So uh, the press, the media went crazy and referred to this as the God particle, okay? And including a bit of nonsense uh, about conscious cosmology. Nothing, there's nothing about conscious co cosmology. In the Chinese press as well, uh, Sanghi Legion. Is it really the God particle? Uh, I hardly think so. That's a, a bit of an exaggeration. Uh, if you do believe in God, then all things bright and beautiful, all particles great and small, the Lord God made them all. Uh, that, in other words, uh, if there is a God, he made all particles, not just this one, and there is no reason to call this uh, the God particle. In fact, my theme today is that perhaps we shouldn't call it the God particle, but we should call it the Yang particle. <laughs> and uh, I say that slightly in jest, but not completely in jest. Uh, there is a case to be made uh, for the very serious a very important connection with the work of Professor Xian Yang, uh, whom uh, we uh, admire so much. Now, the reason for connecting the two uh, is because the Higgs boson, the Higgs mechanism, is a phenomenon that exists only in Yang Mills theory, as Professor Chi has already told you. And it solves a very important problem in Yang Mills theory, uh, the problem of the mass of the intermediate vector boson. And it solves the problem also of the masses of the fundamental fermions. So what is the Yang-Mills theory? Why does it require the mass of the boson to be zero? And how did Higgs resolve the contradiction? The key idea of gauge theory is a paradox, that some things in the theory are needed, but they do not matter. So the first thing you need to do in an experiment is to accelerate the protons to very high energy and smash them together. So you need an accelerator, and the accelerator uh, that everybody now talks about is that CERN. Uh, this is an aerial view. The red lines are, of course, uh, drawn by hand uh, of CERN. CERN is uh, in Geneva. And this is a view of the inside of the Large Hadron Collider, inside the tube forming the ring. Right? So the protons uh, will be traveling in these uh, tubes. The other experiment, CMS, is a bit smaller, but uh, basically the design is the same. Uh, this is an illustration of a uh, scattering event. You have uh, two protons coming together, forms a Higgs particle, decays into two Zs, and each Z decays into two muons. The work that has been announced over the last few months uh, provides good evidence for at least a Higgs-like particle at a mass of 125. It seems to interact in a way as predicted by Yang Mills. Now we do have a satisfactory answer. Uh, due to this work, and now it is consistent with experimental information. That is the uh, problem posed by Yang in 1954, and which now seems to be satisfactorily resolved. Trying to answer this question has driven the advance of particle physics for almost 60 years. It is now answered satisfactorily, beautifully, elegantly, and it relies on the interplay of several subtle ideas. Yang Mills theory, and parity, also due to Yang, are both important in this story. So with that, happy birthday to Professor Yang. Okay, thank you. Thank you.